Hey folks, welcome back. So for today's video, uh, we're doing a little build project. And if you're only interested in seeing certain parts of this, I'll have timestamps on here so you can just skip straight to that part. But otherwise, uh, first I'm gonna just explain a little bit about what this is and what it does. Then I'll show the build of it. And then at the end, I'll tell you a little bit about how well this worked and what I thought. So if you look down the length of a chainsaw bar, you will be able to see that there's a couple rails or a rail that runs all the way around the, uh, the length of this. And so it looks something kind of like that right there. Now ordinarily, uh, if you got a good bar, it should, the, the rail itself should look something like that right there, where your rails are nice and square, perpendicular, parallel, whatever, all of the above. But if you've got one that's a little bit worn out or maybe you've gotten some damage on it or something like that, it might end up looking something more like this, where your, uh, your rails aren't quite the way they should be and this can affect how well your your saw cuts and it may want to kind of go one way or the other a bit as well now my guess is that probably if you have an issue like this you might be best just to buy a new bar they typically aren't that expensive for standard size stuff so that's probably your best bet but I found out that there's something called a rail roller or a rail closer which just is a couple bearings that you can adjust the one of them for width and then you run your chainsaw bar in between those and it squeezes your rail back together and gets them to that more uh, parallel uh, state that you want them to be at. So since it looked like a fairly simple device I decided that I might as well just go and see if I couldn't build one. Alrighty, so there we go, all finished. Super, super professional looking, nice uh, clean finish to it. Uh, but, okay, so how, how did it work? Uh, honestly, it actually did pretty decent. I did some test cuts with it afterwards and it definitely, definitely was cutting a little bit better. Um, the only thing is, that's my cheapo eBay chainsaw, and at the moment I only have one uh, working chain for that at the moment. 
and uh, it's missing a few teeth so I think that's also not helping its cutting performance at all either but just getting the reels straightened back out a little bit getting them parallel again there was definitely a noticeable difference in how well that thing cut one thing that I was a little concerned about with this is on the uh, the end here where I welded this nut and this is just like half inch square tubing so this bolt is able to uh, slide down inside of here and then that pushes on this bearing over here and moves this one in I was a little concerned that this weld here might might break but it's actually held up remarkably well now one difference between mine and what I saw online that you could buy for a roller like this was that uh, mine I mount in the vise itself and then I pull the uh, the chainsaw bar through it whereas the ones that I saw for sale uh, you mount your bar in the vise and then you uh, use this in your hand to pull this along the length of the bar and it might be easier to have it the other direction where you're you're moving this versus the bar but it wouldn't be too hard i think to uh, do a little bit of modification at least with the bolts and stuff and how this is and then just weld another piece coming out perpendicular from here and you could add a handle on basically the same as the design that you can buy um, commercially available for these things so all in all this actually worked pretty well for a little homemade and handy version of it uh, like I said there there definitely was a uh, noticeable difference be before and after of having this even with having a, a junk chain on there but um, it, it definitely does seem to help the performance of the saw so I think that's about all there is to say about this it's a pretty simple device that seems to uh, do what do what it's supposed to do uh, if I missed anything or you have any questions about how I did this just go ahead and leave a comment down there and I'll, I'll get back to you on that so that is going to be it for this video as always I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time